the methane feedback. Methane is 150 times as powerful in the first 5 years, 86 times in the 20 years and 26 times in the 100 year time scale. It decays into carbon dioxide and water. And you should know how much methane exists currently. All the natural gas, oil and coal pales in comparison. You can look at the graph and you can look at the diagram. Methane is spread all over in methane clathrates. I have put up a small video to show you how methane clathrates look like. And you should also know that methane clathrates look like ice. And this is ice that readily catches fire. Methane hydrates have fascinated the community for, for decades now. This stuff is cool. So methane hydrate is a combination of water molecules and methane, where the methane sits inside a cage of these water molecules and it forms at high pressure and low temperature. The methane hydrates that we commonly talk about are in the Arctic uh, and the other very common places on continental margins. So as you go into the offshore, the combination of cold water and high pressure leads to a province of, of methane hydrates. Methane hydrates uh, are a huge potential energy resource. Um, there's an estimate that there is 7,000 trillion cubic feet of methane uh, available in these hydrate reservoirs in the, in the Gulf of Mexico alone. Uh, to give you a sense of, of, of what that means, that's 250 years worth of uh, gas given our present consumption rates uh, in the United States. So uh, it's a tremendous potential supply. The problem is how to produce methane hydrates economically and environmentally. We don't understand uh, how the material behavior of these rocks changes as we produce them. If you take that methane hydrate from depth and you don't control the pressure and the temperature, it's going to disassociate. The majority of it has just bubbled off uh, into the atmosphere as you've raised that rock. 